Hello. Today's topic is about constipation. What is constipation? We can understand the definition based on two criteria that is the frequency of passing the stool and the consistency of the stool. Therefore, constipation is defined as a condition in which there are less than three bowel movements per week and the stools are hard, lumpy, or difficult to pass. After knowing the meaning, we have to understand the pathophysiology of constipation. In normal healthy large intestine, the digested food passes through the different parts of the large intestine. As it passes through, water is reabsorbed turning the digested food into feces which is a waste product. The stool is subsequently propelled into the rectum by muscle contractions, and by the time it gets there, most of the water has been absorbed, leaving the feces solid. In constipation, the muscles of the colon contract slowly or sluggishly causing the feces to pass through the colon very slowly. This slow movement causes more than usual water to be reabsorbed making the stool hard and difficult to pass. Constipation itself is a symptom and gives rise to some other symptoms too. It is quite important to recognize the different facets of symptoms. The first symptom is difficulty in passing motion. What is the meaning of this term? The meaning is when you have a change in frequency of passing motion to a reduced frequency and the stools are hard, lumpy, and difficult to pass. Some people have normal bowel habit of passing stool three times a week. This is considered normal. What is not normal is when the frequency becomes once per week or none at all. That should alert you. Another important point is about passing the stool. If you strain, it is an indication that the stool is hard and you are constipated. Another important symptom is feeling bloated or uncomfortable. The next important thing is how it is diagnosed. The thing that you need to remember is constipation is just a symptom. Doctors must find out the cause of constipation. The cause can be mild or even life-threatening. If you see the medical textbook, there are many causes of constipation. I am not going to go through one by one but I have included the table here so you can take a look. Only when you determine the causes, you can initiate treatment. For example, if the cause of constipation is diet, the treatment can be to advise the patient to include more fiber in the diet and drink more water. However, if you were to suspect a more notorious cause, more specialized investigation like colonoscopy is needed. The treatment of constipation depends on the cause. However, it is the duty of a doctor to relieve the symptoms of constipation and yet at the same time conduct some investigations to find about the cause. We will go through on how to relieve the symptom of constipation. Usually, the drugs used to relieve constipation are known as laxatives. There are many types of laxatives depending on the mechanism of action but essentially what you must remember is that these drugs accelerate the movement of the digested food via the large intestine. The logic is when the digested food travel quickly via the large intestine, less water is absorbed and as a result, the consistency of the stool is soft. Examples of laxatives are like bisacodyl, senna and castor oil. Besides using drugs, lifestyle modifications are crucial. As a doctor it is your responsibility to advise your patients regarding the importance of drinking water, including more fiber in the diet and exercising. As usual there are quiz questions. Pause this video and answer them. Comment your answers below. As usual please like, comment and subscribe if you find this video useful, as this will motivate me into doing more videos like this. Don't forget you can request your biology or medicine topics via the Google form that is linked in the description below. Thank you and see you all in the next video.